Today on Karamo. Picard used to make music. We had put out a video, 1991. I remember that, yes, yes, I was, yes. I was in there, man. And says he's been back pulling late nights in the studio. Kind of catch up with my artistic talent to get in. But his fiance. We're too old for that. But how you trying to get married to me and you can't explain something? Suspects he's out late cheating with other women. I mean, one time she stopped by at 3 in the morning to talk about she was in the area. So? Every time she... <laughs> so what? So what? Is she right or is she wrong? Are you ready to unlock this phone? Yeah. Plus, you in solitary confinement for 180 days? Does this man have trust issues from being locked up in prison? I've been accused of cheating on him. Or did someone break the trust? Both of their phones are about to be unlocked. I'm like just confused. I'm very confused. Welcome to the show, friends. So my guest Renee says she swore off men 10 years ago after being cheated on repeatedly. But her family convinced her to join a dating site where she met her fiance, Picard. She said he was everything she wanted in a man until he got a second chance at fame in the music industry. Now Renee says he ignores her phone calls, blocked her on social media, and disappears for days at a time. She wants my help to unlock his phone and to determine if wedding bells are in their future or if it's time to say goodbye. Help me welcome Renee to the show. Hi. Hi. How are you doing today? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So please tell me, how did you meet Picard? Well, it was 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. I was totally done with men, and the reason why is because of past relationships that yes. didn't go good. But my family members convinced me to get on this website. Uh -huh. And when I got the message from Picard, it caught my eye. Mm -hmm. And everything seemed good in the beginning, but now, you know, ever since he's been back into this music thing, he's hiding a lot. Got and it. I need some answers. I need to know the reason why he's doing what he's doing. Understandable. So you broke up a year after you met him. What happened at that point? Well, we had a little incident that yeah. we had, you know, went through. Mm -hmm. And we took a little break. What happened there? The communication wasn't working out. So we took a step back, but we still remained friends. Mm -hmm. And was that your decision? It was both of our of decisions. Okay. And what made you get back together with him after that year? Because he promised me that if I took him back, that things would be a lot better. I would never have to worry about him cheating on me, talking to anybody, or having ins any insecurities. Mm -hmm. During that year when y'all broke up, or when you were about to break up for the, in that first year, did, did you see some of your insecurities coming back? Like, no. Nothing? So it was just communication? Yes. So why would he make a promise of saying that I won't cheat on you and those things? because I was accusing him during that time of cheating on me because of the way we was having miscommunication. Got it, understandable. So how has your relationship been since you got back together? In the beginning, everything yeah. was fine. He would always answer me and reassure me that it wasn't what I thought. But recently, he hasn't had any answers from me. Mm -hmm. He's becoming very manipulative. He tries to make me think that I'm crazy. He tells me that he loves me, but I need him to prove it to Got me. Got it. <laughs> and how long have you been engaged? We've been engaged for about six years now. Mm. And do you have a wedding date? No. No wedding date. What's going on there? Why don't you have a wedding date? We don't have a wedding date because every time I talk about it, he doesn't seem interested in it. In what way? You know, the New Year's is coming. Maybe we should make a date when we're going to get married. And he'll say, oh, we're going to have a big wedding. But he never comes up with a date. So when did you start to see the signs that possibly he could be cheating? Ever since last year. Mm -hmm. When the doors opened back up for him with his music. Yeah. I've noticed that he's been being very, very secretive. He doesn't answer my questions when I ask him. He spends a lot of time at the studio. I understand that being at, a, at the studio takes hours, but it doesn't take all night. And then when I question him on the reason why he's not answering my calls, after the time he claims that he's at the studio, he'll tell me that he's tired or he has still had his phone on vibrate. Mm, and I won't hear from him until the next day. Mm -hmm. 
Have you confronted him about your suspicions? Yes. And what does he say to but you? But he just tells me that he's not cheating on me, that he loves me. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I need that with action. Have you ever caught him in the act? No. Never I, I've never act. caught him cheating on me. So I can't say that. But my intuitions and his actions is showing that me that he's doing something. Got it. Has he ever accused you of cheating? Yeah. Okay. And what, have you ever cheated on him? No. Yeah. No, no, no. So why do you think he accuses you of cheating? because he's trying to manipulate me. He's trying to trick me, take the eyes off him. Can I go back up just a little bit? 10 years ago, before you got into this relationship, you said you took 10 year break. In the relationship you were in before 10 years before, was it emotionally and mentally abusive? It was bad. Bad. It was bad. And I didn't want to deal with men anymore. How, I said how I how wasn't going to do it anymore. How huh? long were you and the guy together before? It was a pretty long relationship. I would say 12 years. 12 years. Yeah. And it was 12 years of lying, cheating, abuse. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so when you got out of that relationship, was it, what was the catalyst for you to say, let me get out of this relationship? It was just too much for me. Yeah. Too okay. much extra work to go through and, and things wasn't working out. Mm -hmm. I was ready to move on. Okay. You asked me to unlock Picard's phone. What do you think I'm going to find? Hopefully you can get these answers for me. But I wonder what do you think is in there? The people that he's talking to, mm -hmm. when he claims that he's at the studio, the social media pages that he's hiding from me. Okay. So you think there's pages that he's hiding from you that you haven't seen? Yes. Okay. Well, listen, Renee has shared her fears about Picard, so let's see what he has to say. Please, everyone, help me welcome Picard to the show. <laughs> I don't understand what you're talking about telling these people that, you know, that I'm the one that's causing the issue when it's you. It's Picard out late just getting back into the music. I mean, one time she stopped by at 3 in the morning to talk about she was in the area. So? Every time she... So what? <laughs> so what? Or is he out late cheating with other women? We're too old for but that. But how you trying to get married to me and you can't explain something? You won't believe what happens to this engaged couple. Are you ready to unlock this phone? Yeah. I need to know the reason why he's doing what he's doing. You asked me to unlock Picard's phone. What do you think I'm going to find? The people that he's talking to. I don't understand what you're talking about telling these people that, you know, that I'm the one that's causing the issue when it's you. You're the one that's always on me. You don't give me no, f listen, listen. Listen, I got a situation, Karamo, right? I'm getting a second 15 minutes. I was part of this group. It was a juvenile awareness group. Yes. We had put out a video, 1991, we get nominated for a Grammy. You know what I mean? Yeah. All this gets done, right? What was the name of the group? Uh -huh. what was it? Lifers Group. It was called I remember the... that. Yeah, you remember the I Lifers remember Group? That. Yeah. Yes, I yes, was, yes. I was in there, man. I've kind of been re-going back into the studio, kind of can't jump up my own artistic talent to get in. Yeah. All she seemed to do is call me. Call me. Especially find time. Listen, I, two, three hours before going to the studio, I don't hear from Renee. Soon as I get in the studio, half an hour in, yeah, you could do that. Half an hour in, she calling me. So why you don't try to call me before you go I'm to the I'm not studio? calling you, because right now what you're doing is interfering with my artistic process. If I get on the phone with her and we start doing the back and forth, there is no more recording, no music What for are we doing back and, and forth for, though? Not even what is there. the back and forth behind? What do you mean? Behind what? You being insecure now. How? How? You are being insecure. If you tell me that you're going to the studio and you're doing four hours, why does that lead to the next day? What do you I mean? I don't hear from you. To the next day. You gotta understand my, my side too. What's your side? What's your you gotta side? understand my What's side, side too. When you tell me that you're going to the studio and you're taking four hours, it, it rolls over to the next day. I don't hear from you. I just told you you're that, still man. Not answering you keep the question. bugging me. You keep bugging me. And plus, if I get out 3, 4 in the morning, why am I calling you for? Oh yeah, I know you're gonna be up waiting on that call, but I'm gonna call you in the morning. But you don't call me in the morning. Well, maybe I forgot, Renee. You can't look at everything. Have you ever called me? You see me? what I'm listen, talking about? That's exactly listen, what I'm talking listen, about. Listen, I asked her a point blank earlier Stop if she has any proof of you cheating or anything. Thank you. But I get that. She still, she says she has a woman's intuition. My thing for you, though, is if she's saying to you, all I need is a call after the studio, 
to alleviate these conversations, why don't you just give her that? And this is something that you promised me that you would do. Remember? I'm yeah. just asking, well, this point blank. To be honest, we go back and forth so much that it's getting to a point where I don't feel, no, it ain't punishment. I don't feel like I should be given explanations. We're too old for that. But how you trying to get married to me and you can't explain something to me that I'm asking you You should to already explain. know 10 years in. What are you talking about? No. You should already no, know that's, 10 that's, years no, in. No, no. Picard, can I ask you point blank? Go ahead. Have you cheated on her? No. OK. Listen, bro, I'm raising two kids. I'm not, that's not even my lifestyle. My, my daughters only know me for being with her and their mother. That's not the guy I am. It was a situation where I first met her. She had this thing she would do where she would just stop by. No calling, no nothing. I mean, one time she stopped by at 3 in the morning and talked about she was in the area. So? Every time she st- So what? So what? So? <laughs> Listen, you lucky I was knocking on your door. Hey, I get it. I get it. Lucky at least man. I was knocking on Here your another, door. Here's another thing. Every time what she stopped... What if you stopped, would have caught me knocking at somebody else's door at 3 in the morning? Uh, but, when is it going to stop? But you do the same thing. Yeah, once in a while. Only I, exactly. Can I explain it? Exactly. You do the same thing. Well, it's, it's different when my, my, I do it. Well, well, let's back up. Thing. Why is it different than when you do it? It gets to the point, right, where I'll start feeling like, yeah, maybe she might start messing around with me. Because she think I'm messing around so much, oh, I think wow. she might start doing something. Mm-hmm. So I, I start getting insecure from one. that perspective. Okay. She know what true. I'm talking about. So can I ask you something? Because my producer told me that not y'all true. two aren't friends on social media. No. No. Well, that's another friends. thing. No, Why we're not. Why aren't y'all friends on social media? I'm about to tell you. Every little argument, disagreement that me and this young, beautiful lady has, uh-huh. she sends out the bat signal, which is she unfriends me. Have you ever done this to me? Yes or no? Yeah, I've done it when you've done it to me a no, couple times. No, 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 no. Don't back. blame me. Talk right, about check you. Out. She done it so have much. Have you unfriended me? Yes or no? Yes, I have one or twice, but you did it okay. so much. Listen, she done it so much. You've, you've done they it. They stopped her from sending me friend requests. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. They, just stopped, yeah. they stopped, stopped her Whatever. from sending me friend requests. No, let That's me tell you. That's how much she unfriends let me. Let me tell you. Picard, you propose. Why won't you set a wedding day? Why would we go ahead and set a date and take that step to be in a marriage doing this? I want to, I would rather. I, this is what I told her. I'd rather take that step when we're at peace with one another. Got it. But we well, can't be at peace. If you, if you living like the way you live. It's give and take, though. If it's you're give living, take, no. Well, it's speak, the way you you're listen, living. You speak, I'm, I'm listen. No, this but, but that's not balance. the way you do yes. it, though. Okay, hold on. What, 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 you don't what do is it that peace, way. What does peace look like for you? Him answering my questions when I ask him, son. I'm asking you, when you go to the studio, why don't I hear from you until the next day? And it's every single time. I'm busy. I'm in there you being creative. So you can't text me and be like, babe, I'm Sometimes busy. Sometimes I do. You, you can't, can't say do I that. Don't. Sometimes I do. Okay. But I don't do it all the Picard, time. I want to know you. What, what does peace look like for you? Peace look like for me is her just getting off my back. Stop putting pressure on me for things you have no proof on. And you have to do the same thing. I get it. That's still, you always do the tip for tat. You have to do, no, yeah, there is no. Stop tip there's, for tat. no such Every thing as tip for tat. If I bring up something that Well, you just said you tip for tat, too. You can treat it the Once way you blue, treat people. Reaction. But you still tip, tip for tat. It's still no, tip for tat. No, you're not. So I think it's time to take it to the comments and see what my audience has to say about this. Y'all got some questions? Let's go. Our audience is about to sound off. I so, get that, but you have to be considerate. Is Picard out making music or is he out cheating? All the assumptions you got about me cheating is in your head. You won't believe what happens to this engaged couple. Are you ready to unlock this phone? Yeah. I don't hear from you. I just told you You're that, You're still man. not answering you the question. You keep bugging me. It's getting to a point where I don't feel like I should be given explanations. So Ain't you it. can't text me and be like, babe, I'm Sometimes busy. Sometimes I do. You, you can't, can't say do I that. Don't. All right, so what are your thoughts on this? Well, first, I think before you guys go tit for tat all the time, I think you guys should listen to each other. Yeah. Let her speak or you, whoever's speaking first, and then comment and wait till she's done so you can hear. Because I don't think you're hearing what each other is saying. All I want you to do is answer my questions, though. Yes, okay. I do. And there's nothing wrong with what, that. What I do. What's but your I'm thought not, on I don't want to. I'm not I'm saying you're We got one more puppy. comment. I want to hear this. Go ahead. What's your thought? Hi. Yes. You definitely have some insecurities with third party issues and not believing in yourself that you're that fly that he wouldn't cheat on you. So that's self work that he can't help you with. But on the other hand, maybe she's not an artist, so she doesn't understand that type of 
uh, need to kind of, you know, you don't want your creative juice all of a sudden stop because she gets you in the weird space and then you can't create. I, think I too. get that, but you have to be considerate. You have to give her some, she's the type that needs reassurance while she's dealing with her insecurities. Mm -hmm. So if you love her, you know. I I, so I, do, you, do you think you're considerate of your woman? And I telling, think I and, am, of, of but her I don't feelings? think I, I am as much as she might want me to be. So it looks like there's a lot of trauma going on between both of you and it looks like when she's feeling insecure about herself, you don't really come in and try to help her. You just ignore her. That's I not do, gonna but help. not all the time. It's I'm not, not that consistent. I'm feeling insecure about myself. I'm never insecure. Look at me. I'm never insecure. That's not what's going on. Too. That's not what's going on. It's but that it's not about you don't answer my questions when I'm asking you something. I do answer it, but I don't That's answer them with the consistency on. as she would like me for me to answer them so she can feel secure but how about you gonna be what married, she's going through. How you going to be married to somebody and Same not thing answer I said them? to you. What do you need from him? How often do you need it? Because at first I asked a studio, so we got that. But he's saying there's more times where it's like, I'm just reassuring you and I'm just tired of saying it over and over again. You said it's not a self-worth issue, so we're gonna have to trust you. How you reassuring me? You never had an issue of dealing with no other female. All the assumptions you got about me cheating is in your head. You draw them up. You heard one or two of me cheating on you. Why you ain't bring me to the show? Cause that's what you do. What you mean? I, I'm more, I'll internalize it and go smoke some weed and drink. Mm -hmm. I'm just keeping it real. He's a big liar. He's very ma manipulative. Manipulative, right? Very. That's a favorite word. So tell very. me how, though. Tell me how. Very. Because I'm, he I'm, always... She called me manipulative when I'm right. I'm, I'm gonna no, because he's not you. right. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm listening here, right. and we haven't got to the unlock the phone results yet, but I'm listening right now. You say that he's manipulating you. I'm trying to hear these things so I can connect the it dots It ain't no consistency. I need to know that he's not cheating on me. So, and he's not told, hiding you, anything. I, and I'm gonna unlock the phone, but you told me yourself. And that he's really in the studio when he say he but, is. But you told me yourself that you never had anyone come up to you. You never had anyone say anything. No. So where is it coming from then? Him not answering my phone calls. But if I don't answer his call, he'll go off. You if, I don't answer, if I don't answer, if I don't answer, excuse me. Do. Excuse me. I'm doing the excuse same thing you do. Me. Excuse me. If I don't you answer, if, you if I don't me, answer I his call right away, where am I doing that? You not If doing. I don't answer his call right away, he'll have a problem with that. Yeah. But you could go all night without answering mine. Right. What make you better than me? Someone asks this. Are you ready to unlock this phone? Yeah. Is Picard out making music or is he out cheating? Y'all both engage in this negative behavior. You won't believe what happens to this engaged couple. Hold on, now we got a boundary. You see, did you see what has happened? Now that's a boundary! You are the guy. Get off my stage. All the assumptions you got about me cheating is in your head. He's a big liar. He's very manipulative. Manipulative, right? Very, because I'm, he I'm, always... She called me manipulative when I'm right. I need to know that he's not cheating on me, so and he's not hiding you, anything. I, are you ready to unlock this phone? Yeah. We asked you to unlock your phone. I said no. Before I even get to it. He, Picard, refuses to unlock the phone. Yes. Yeah. And this is a first for me to say this. Mm -hmm. I'm actually very unhappy you didn't unlock your phone because I do not believe that unlocking your phone is gonna ever solve the symptoms of this relationship. So when I unlock people's phones, it's because I'm trying to get proof and do things. Right now, you're telling me out of your own mouth that you don't have any time you've ever got anything. You're saying the thing that is triggering your insecurities is him not picking up a call. That is a boundary issue. And I think that's what we need to be focusing on. There needs to be boundaries put in place. Listen, you just as petty as she is, and you know it. The it's reason I said this is that you do the same, engage in the same behavior because you gotta stop pointing the finger to her and saying, well, she do this, because you do the same thing. And that's why y'all in this sort of pattern of, well, you do this, you do that, you do this, you do that. Y'all both engage in this negative behavior that is not serving this relationship at all. So what's happening right now is both of y'all have boundaries. You said you've never cheated, you said you've never cheated. You said you've never had anybody come up to you, you said you never had come up, somebody come up to you. So right now it's like, y'all just need to communicate better and say what I need. Tell this man the boundary of what you need and be clear about it. And the thing is, is that I understand that your past relationship is playing into your insecurities right now. I don't think you have a self-worth issue. I think it's, it's about being triggered about your past, the fear of it happening again to you. So I'm gonna do this exercise really quickly. 
can you tell me two boundaries you need from him? Communication. In what way? Because if he's saying he's an artist and he's in spaces where he's trying to perform, what is it that you clearly need? Is it just, hey, when you leave the studio, just check in and say, I'm it's okay. There's nothing wrong with him picking up his phone and hitting me with a text. I don't do a that. quick text. He don't have to do it all the time. Can I get a clear boundary from you? You know I'm what really he does? Trying to help you. I'm trying to help you. I promise you. Because I actually do believe that this is a relationship that should be salvaged and could actually be healthy. I actually do believe that. I do I believe agree that. Too. And I say that to say, you haven't told me anything to give me the conclusion that he could be cheating, and he hasn't given me anything to make me think that you're cheating. So what I'm saying is that this could be the reason why I mind. think that he's doing something is because he constantly accuses me. I get it. That's, that's going back why. to the first thing I said, tit for tat. Both of y'all doing it. So that's why I'm trying to give y'all a, a clear boundary to move forward with. I'm asking that Picard, what's the boundary you need? What's the boundary you need? Picard, what's the boundary you need? The boundaries I need. What is the boundary? I to listen need? more. What does listen more mean? When we have our talks, more, I mean, what you mean? When we have our talks, to listen more, to inter internalize what I'm saying, and listen to me like when I'm listening to you, and take what I'm saying into consideration. So you're going to start doing that now? What you mean? Because you weren't doing it. To me, I believe I've always been doing it, but I'm going to be a little bit more proactive with it. I need for him to do the same things that he expects for me to do for But him. what are those things? Listen more. But listen more in what text? Like, I'm, this is what I'm trying to, y'all gotta when get When I'm clearer. talking to him, don't cut me off. Listen Boom. to me. Boom, hold on. Now we got a boundary. You see? Did you see what just happened? <laughs> now that's a boundary! I get it. That's a boundary. So now, first boundary. She just said, when I'm talking, don't cut me off, which we all witness here, you do do a lot. This is somebody I got feelings for. But so you, I'm gonna, we gonna, I'm gonna, you gotta that stop. And we're gonna go she back. just told gotta you gotta stop. That. So now, when he sets, well, now that you set that boundary, when you're speaking and he cuts you off, you don't react. You sit back and you say, my boundary. Versus right now, y'all ain't got no proof, ain't nobody doing nothing, you ain't doing nothing, y'all arguing about stuff. This man loves you and you love him. Y'all yeah. just gotta set some clear boundaries. Yeah. That's at the end of the day. And you do. He set the first boundary. Don't cut her off no more. Listen, that's just a win for me. So I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna take my wins where I can get them. <laughs> We're gonna stop right there, everybody. We're gonna stop right there. I'm gonna wish y'all the best yes. of luck. Thank and you. if y'all need more resources and tools on boundaries, I got y'all, all, all yes. right? But I really do believe that there is true love here. I really do believe Thank it. Thank you very much. I do man. believe that, yeah. I, I heard everything you said, man. I'm Definitely gonna take it into I consideration. That. I and probably some that. of the best advice I've heard in a while. I appreciate that. I'm thank, thank you so you. much. Yeah, you're welcome. It. All right, everyone, stay with us, friends. We'll be right back with you. Actually, let me give you a hug. Y'all give me a hug. in solitary confinement for 180 days. Does this man have trust issues from being locked up in prison? I've been accused of cheating on him. Or did someone break the trust? Both of their phones are about to be unlocked. I'm like just confused. I'm very confused. Hey friends, so my guest Jordan says after being abandoned as a child, he found himself homeless as a teen and fell into a life of crime, which landed him in a maximum security prison for four years. After being released from prison, Jordan turned his life around. And one week later, he met Elizabeth and they clicked instantly. But after years of seemingly a healthy relationship, he fears that his girlfriend has been lying and cheating on him. He says he needs my help to unlock her phone. Help me welcome Jordan to the show. Look at you. Jordan, you sharp. You sharp, you look good. I'm just trying to pay you. Oh, you came through. First of all, I love your story that you were in prison and you found your way to make a better life for yourself. So congratulations for Thank that. You. you know what Thank I mean? You. So you met, your, you, you met your lady a week after getting out of prison. Tell me what it was like. Um, well, Facebook. Facebook? Yeah, I heard a ding and I looked at my phone and it was her. Yeah. And, um, one week? One week. Wow. One week to the day. Yes. To the day. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, I mean, um, yeah, I answered her back and we talked for about two weeks. Um, and then we met up, went on a date, and four years later, here we are. Y'all a cute couple. I love it. Oh, yeah. Um, we started off good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I want to go back a little bit. Yes, sir. Because you were young when you went to prison. How old were you? Uh, 18. 18 years old. Yes. Yeah, so very, very young. What happened? Um, well, I was homeless at the time, uh, living out of my car. 
and I met some individuals, um, and they were in the same predicament as me, so um, we clicked up that night, and then the next day they had this big idea that the girls were gonna go prostitute, for say. You give us a ride, we're gonna call you, pick us up, drop us off. They went and did what they did. I picked them up, dropped them off. They left, I never seen them again, and five months later I went to prison. Because you drove them there? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, so what was it like for you being so young and being thrown into a maximum security prison? Oh, it was scary. Yeah. <laughs> First week I was by myself and everyone in there has 30 plus years. You know, you get a couple people like me who have small time, so you have to really watch yourself. Yeah. Um, my producer told me that you were in solitary confinement for 180 days. What yeah. was that like? It was up and down. It was up and down. Um, I did a lot of... Did a lot of reading, I did a lot of working out, I did a lot of talking to myself. I, I need a little bit of background, so, cause homeless at a young age, yes. abandonment sounds like, didn't have any family that was really there supporting you. Do you think that time of your life is affecting relationship now? Yeah, trust wise, yeah. you know, it um, puts a big weight on my chest, I guess, to who I trust, how I trust, how I love them, how I just interact with people. Yeah, you know? and for you, when did you think the, the, the cheating started with her? I want to say the first time that I had suspicion was her coming in at like five in the morning. Now that's odd for her, uh -huh. you know, when you know somebody for years, you know their tics, you know how they move. Yeah. And showing up at five in the morning, coming home, straight to the shower, usually you come in, hi baby, how are you? You have a good night? Yeah. Then go, but straight to the shower, then come back after you brushed your teeth, you've showered, you've put new clothes on. And you have any other for four years? Yeah. And so how long into the relationship did that happen when she was coming home? At 5 a.m.? Um, I'd say about like two years. So two, two years in? Yes, sir. Well, okay yes. then. Um, and what happened recently to make you suspect that she was being unfaithful? Putting perfume on a little too much makeup to go work in a factory. Mm -hmm. Just the attentiveness to your phone, which you never had. It's just, it's just stuff that led up, you know, that wasn't in her character. Mm -hmm. so. Have you ever cheated on her? Early in the relationship, fresh out of prison. Uh -huh. I, um, well, we, we had a conversation, you know? She says, you just did a lot of time. Um, I'm the first girl that you've talked to, gotten with, you have stuff to get out of your system. I knew that, she knew that. You know, that's a big risk, mm -hmm. a week out of prison. So from 18 plus for five years, there had been no interaction with anyone, especially when you're talking about solitude, confinement, all these things. So I, yes. I understand where your mental state is. So that, I'm not excusing you cheating on her in the beginning, but I can understand how that could work out. And she decided to stay with you. Yeah. Okay. Did you, do you see a future with Elizabeth? I do. And I mean, we were planning on getting married this summer. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's what I need your help for. Yeah. I get it. Have you turned your life around since you've been locked up? I have. Went to school while I was in prison. Mm -hmm. I came home. Um, I started managing artists. Good and job. I'm just trying to build something from the ground up, you know, build yeah. a foundation. Good job. <laughs> oh, good job. So, I'm, you want me to unlock your lady's phone? What do you think I'm going to find? <sighs> Hopefully nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully I'm just paranoid. I don't know. Conversations, pictures. Have you ever asked assumptions. her directly, have you cheated on me? Yeah. And what did she say? She gets angry. Uh-huh. You know, and, and a lot of times people get angry right away. They're hiding something. Have you ever seen anything suspicious outside of her taking a shower? Yeah. You ever seen her like in a store talking to a guy or anything like that? So the day that she came in at five in the morning, she got a text from this guy. Mm -hmm. Hey, you good? You in the house? Da 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 da. Your boyfriend around? I texted back and I said, No, he's not here. Can you help me make up a story so I can, uh, and she's like, Yeah, 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 I got whatever you need. So, I mean, I probably shouldn't have texted on her phone, but seeing that, I was like, I didn't know what to do. And this is two years ago. Yeah, and it stuck with me ever two since. Two years ago. Stuff started stacking, mm. and it just. And what's the stuff? Because if I'm, you want my help. You All said you wanted to. Yes, you want to make it to the altar, and I want. <laughs> I gotta know these things. So what happens after that? The exact details, everything. I can't remember. Did but you tell she, her that you text the guy back? Oh yeah. And what did she say to that? She said, "Oh, I just got his phone number just because if I ever seen him out or if I ever needed something. Well, why would you need something not from me? And but that's been the only time you've ever seen that ever before. Um. Well, with one of her coworkers. That's another thing. I brought up something before, and she got defensive right away. Oh, well, he came on to me, and, but it, it only happened like four times. 
She said that, it, you know, nothing happened. He came on to her and she pushed him away. But then it happened again and mm. again and again. If this is a coworker and that's making you feel uncomfortable, why have you not brought it up to somebody? And why when does this coworker happen? Because you said the first one happened two years ago. When does this coworker thing happen? About two months ago. Two months ago. Well, listen, everyone, help me welcome Elizabeth to the show. Hi, Elizabeth. How are Hi. you doing? Good. How are you? Good. So I have mm -hmm. to ask you point blank. Have you been cheating on Jordan? Does this man have trust issues from being locked up in prison? I've been accused of cheating on him, because and I never have. Or did someone break the trust? Text messages, photos, profiles, apps. Both of their phones are about to be unlocked. I'm like just confused. I'm very confused. You are the cop. Get off my stage. prison and you found your way to make a better life for yourself. Do you think that time of your life is affecting your relationship now? Yeah, trust-wise. And what happened recently to make you suspect that she was being unfaithful? It's just stuff that led up, you know, that wasn't in her character. I have to ask you point blank, have you been cheating on Jordan? Of course I haven't been cheating on you, and you know that I haven't been cheating I don't on know you. That you haven't been cheating okay, on well, we've been together for how long? You're talking about something that happened four years ago. You still don't believe me. Like, how do you think that I feel after almost four years together and you still don't believe me? You still think I'm lying. I didn't take a shower that night. I came home and I changed my clothes like I do every other time when I come home. That's not what happened. Well, this is my question for you, because you said that it was four years ago that this incident happened with this man. He said it's two years ago. It was ago. at the beginning of our relationship. It We've like, been together for, it was, okay, maybe. Like a year and some less, change. It was less than a year into our relationship. How far after he admitted that he had cheated or he told you that he cheated this situation happened? A uh, couple months. So, Elizabeth, <laughs> you met him a week after he got out of prison. Yes. For you, was there no concerns that you had? Oh, of course there was concerns. Yeah. You know, I knew he had been in prison for as long as he had been in there for, you know. So, in so my... I want to know, what was the concerns, though, that you had? Because I can only think about the concerns that I would have if I was about to date someone who just got out of prison. Well, my concerns were that, you know, he's been by himself. He's been locked up for this long, you know. Yeah. And I, you know, I... Which is what brings us back. He's saying that he cheated on me. Well, that happened right at the beginning of a relationship. And the reason that I basically forgave him was, okay, he's been in prison for this long. I understand he went out, he's not used to getting drunk and he's not used to females yeah, giving so you, him attention. You, gave, you, you understood. Right. Got it. Do you think that this time in prison is affecting your relationship today? I probably, you know, there's a lot of residual issues coming from that that are still affecting us now. And what do you think those issues are? Trust issues. Uh, I don't want to say like abandoned, but abandonment would come from like the childhood, you know, things like that. So do you think that you two have a good relationship now? For the most part, yes. Okay. Um, you know, we obviously we have our issues. That's yeah. why we're here. Yeah. But we get along. I mean, we always are having fun together. We, you know, we can talk about pretty much anything. Um, so the communication is strong other than this, this trust issue that keeps popping up. It's, it's about as strong as we make it on that day. Sometimes it's... I don't believe nothing she says. Sometimes she don't believe nothing I say. And then the next day, I love her like I would die if she died. We both, have, for the most part, take responsibility for. Okay. Do you think that Jordan is faithful to you? Now I do, yes. Do you feel like you have a future with him? Yes. You do? Yes, definitely. Yes. I, I hope we have a future. I do too. I so, really Elizabeth, do. you wanted me to unlock his phone as well. Yes. What do you think I'll find? I believe that he loves me. I believe that he's not out here doing me dirty. So that's, I'm hoping we don't find anything. Mm -hmm. But you just said you don't think he is cheating, so why unlock his phone? Um. Trust. Just, yeah, basically just to, you know, kind of reassure myself. Basically, our entire relationship, I've been accused of cheating on him. Because, and I never have. Because why? Because I came home at 5 o'clock in the morning. Okay, and then what else? Did you lie? Yeah, because you... I knew you'd be okay, pissed. Okay, 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 but then, but then, this man texts. I don't think that you're remembering this correctly. I, no, I, remember. I don't think either of us remember correctly because oh, remember. it was very long ago when we were both drunk. I remember. I remember. That was four years I ago, Jordan. Drunk. I wasn't drunk. I, that was four years ago. I mean, just the beginning stemmed 
untrust. It, there I was it. no agree. trust after that. I lost the feeling of when I fell in love with her, mm. you know? And it was like, Are I you would, still in love with her? Deeply. That's deeply. why we're here. And deeply that's why I need your help. Yeah. So I, I want you to say this really quickly before I unlock these phones is I would use different language than in the beginning, I lost that love. Because okay. I know that hit you like a, a, a brick right there, right? Mm -hmm. Because the thing is, is that you say then I'm deeply in love. So your feelings were hurt. Yes. You lost trust. Trust, But the yes. lo love never went anywhere. No, Reassure no. your woman of that. I love you. I'm sorry. but Because what's just going through your mind right there? I'm like, I'm just confused. I'm very confused. Yeah. Like, he says things like that, and I don't know if he, I'm sorry. I don't know if yeah, he loves no. me or not. Can you forgive her for a lie from four years ago? I can. What will it take? If, just to say, babe, I lied. Let's just do something else and try to move on from it. When I'm telling the truth, he thinks I'm lying because I was telling the truth then. Got it. Listen, everyone, when we come back, I will unlock mm. both of their phones to get some answers and hopefully help this couple out. So stay with us. Both of their phones are about to be unlocked. Text messages, photos, profiles, apps. And the whole truth will come out next. The beginning stemmed untrust. I lost the feeling of when I fell in love with her. Mm. You know? I, like, I'm just confused. When I'm telling the truth, he thinks I'm lying because I was telling the truth then. All right, welcome back, everyone. Let's find out what happened when I unlocked Jordan and Elizabeth's phone. <laughs> so, Elizabeth, we unlocked your phone first. And we went through DM messages. We went through apps. We went through text messages. We went through your location services just to see, like, are you going anywhere after work? And so when it came to apps, there was nothing suspicious found. When it came to text messages, there was nothing suspicious found. When it came to your locations, there was nothing suspicious found. There was not one suspicious thing found on her phone, whether it's from a conversation with a man, with anyone on her phone, that would lead me to believe you're doing anything. I believe you, okay? I believe you. Okay. I do. I believe you, okay. and I'm sorry, okay? Thank you. I'm sorry. Now, Jordan, we unlocked your phone. We did the same thing. We went through text messages, photos, profiles, apps. So when it came to your text messages, I found zero text messages that had anything suspicious in it. When it came to photos, I found zero photos that had anything suspicious in it. When it came to apps on Facebook, Instagram, or anything, I didn't find any single thing on your phone that could show that you were doing anything shady. And, and let me tell y'all something. The fact that I ambushed you today to get your phone and I still found nothing gives me full relief and gives me, tells me fully, y'all two gotta stop. <laughs> y'all two gotta stop. You make me feel so much better. Y'all gotta stop. Y'all gotta stop. <laughs> so, Let's be, very, let's be very real here. Y'all already know the symptom of what's going on here. Trust was broken in the beginning. And I have to tell you something. The trust was broken by you from the beginning. And the sad part, but fortunate part, is you had a woman that still understood your circumstances and said, you know what, I'm still gonna rock with you. Yes. You got out of prison, you ha got, had sexual relations with another woman, I get it, I'm still gonna go there. But because of your issues from before, which you've acknowledged as well, are still affecting you, which I can see it, I can see it in your language, that one moment that she had, it's replaying over in your mind and you have to start to try to heal that part of yourself so that you don't project that onto her anymore. But you as well, you got a woman up and say, you know what, no more tit for tat. Because every time you go tit for tat, I get it, you're hot headed, <laughs> but you can't do that anymore. Because all it's doing right now is playing into your relationship in a very negative way. The only thing that's going to help the trust issues is clear boundaries and also clear language of love. So when he says, I think I don't trust you, you say, well, you know what? I trust myself and I love you. And I hope that you can deal with this. <laughs> that's the language.
that's the language that's you use. Definitely better. You have to start to work on that part. Yes. You have a good woman here. I do. You understand? You have a really good woman. You have to stop accusing her, and you have to watch the language. I saw when you said, I don't love her anymore, what that did to her. Or that, or the, not that you don't love her anymore, that the love would, had changed in the beginning. Yeah. Watch your words, because she can only take so much before she ends up breaking and saying, you know what, I'm breaking up with you. Reassure her, I trust you and I love you. So the next time those issues pop up where you're like, hold on, I, I feel like you're doing something, Instead, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to say, you know what? I'm feeling a little insecure right now, but I love you. That's the language you're going to practice. I want you all to practice that right now for me. I've been feeling insecure. I've been feeling untrust, but I love you. I trust you. I need you. I want you every day more. And you know this. I just get stuck here sometimes. And I, like he said, I need you just to reassure me that you trust you and that you love me because I don't know what I would do without you. Well, we need to help each other, and I love you so much. Damn. I feel a lot better. Yeah, <laughs> good. <laughs> there ain't nothing on your phone, so y'all should both feel good. Um, but at least you have the language now. Thank and you. I really wish y'all all the best. But you. use better language with each other, okay? Reassure each other, all right? Yes. Y'all yes. gonna be all right. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for being with us. Come back next time, friends, so we can keep talking and growing. I love you all.